Now we get to work. So today what I'm working on, it's a whole lot of work from home. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are still doing it if you're in quarantine, you're working from home. But today, I'm putting together a little design packet for the client. So we're trying and we're designing custom cabinetry and uh, within this like high, high scale luxury apartments. And um, so we need to get something out to the client so that we can get the answers to what type of fridge, the dimensions for the stove, are we using a dishwasher, stove top, sink, what kind of sink, what kind of fixtures, trying to get all these questions out. So we went, I went ahead and designed this kitchenette already. We have something put together in Revit and in SketchUp. So we'll be flying around both Revit and SketchUp and then I'll show you some of the renders, the render animation that we pulled out of Lumion. And uh, so just so that you get an idea of the space and what it's supposed to look like. And so then this packet that we're putting together, maybe about two pages, gonna break down the elevation and the details of these cabinets. Uh, there are two options right now because both of them have slightly different details. Thinking about the hand pulls, how the faces look and whatnot, and even the materials of them. So we're gonna jump into that today and uh, let's get started. All right. I don't make fun of my sketches here. Coffee plus filming with one hand equals jittery sketches. <laughs> but what I'm doing here is just taking rough dimensions of all the appliances that we added into the this Revit family. So what this is going to do, it's going to help me out once I jump into the research part of actually sourcing and finding uh, potential appliances that we can show to the client and say hey look uh, we're looking at a 24 inch opening for each cabinet and so these are all the appliances you can pick from all right now we're diving into the fun part at least it's fun for me uh, it's exporting the DWG out of Revit bringing it into Illustrator and working on all the line weights so you can see on the right side, I have the elevations and on the left, what I'm showing are uh, just details of hand pulls that these two uh, options are showing. So you got to pull your precedents, show overall photos of what the cabinet's going to start to look like, the feel, the materials. And uh, right here, it's just about laying out, making sure you really tell the story and identify what each drawing is you know get your titles in there uh, keep all your fonts consistent make sure that there's a visual connection everything is spaced out evenly uh, there's a description for everything because these two elevations they're very similar if you look at them so it's very important that you show and annotate what's happening what's going on uh, that way the client and anyone else that looks at this document knows what they're looking at So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. Um, it's just kind of breaking it back down to what you learn diagramming projects and um, adding in the detail, the story, and the, the meat of the project. So this is a chance to be able to do that, bring back some cool graphics, clean line work, find really good precedents, put it together in a little package and send it out. This won't typically be shown to anyone other than the client, but it's nice to, you know, keep using those skills and putting them back into the work and presenting something really nice and clean. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please drop a comment, like the video. Um, also, I just started a newsletter, so you'll find it in the links below, but it's every week I'm posting and I'm talking about either 
an idea, something that I've come across, different resources, usually giving out free PNGs, scale figures, and digital assets, and um, just anything that I find interesting within the architecture world. So click down below, sign up, check it out, and uh, talk to you next time.